Welcome back guys, my name is Swanico, and I'm back here with another video about my camera gear. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that little switch up of when I put my little intro. Anyways, on to the video now. So, as I told you, my video is going to be about my general camera gear. I would say camera bag, except I don't really have a camera bag. So, I figured I'd just make it about my camera gear. So with me, I have the basic stuff to my camera gear. This will be a short video because it's not like all the tiny things and tiny details. It's just an overview. So I hope you guys like it. Let's get on to the first product. First product, guys, I have here is the Rode Microphone Lapel, or lapel mic. It's a lapel mic. The lapel means clothing. Um, so it clips onto your clothing and with the, with a little clip built into the mic and that way it's closer to your face in proximity so it can get a better pickup of sound it works the complete opposite of a shotgun mic um, a shotgun mic is made to be held further away and picks up all the noise that you make while exiting all its background noises this one is only meant to pick up your voice, really. I mean, it will pick up other noises if, like, my hands are crinkling something, but it basically picks up your voice extremely clear. It is wired. It's not wireless. I'm getting adapter, so it will plug into that camera. As of right now, it plugs into a standard phone with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Very cool buy. It's a very neat mic. It isn't relatively expensive mic. I will link this guy down in the description if you guys want to go pick it up. Cool mic. The second product, guys, I had to mention this. This is a Sony HDR CX405. It's the camera I am currently shooting on. This camera, for me, is outstanding. It's not a super high-end, expensive DSLR sort of YouTube camera. It's more of a camcorder type of camera, but it still takes really good video, and it works just fine for me. This guy has a wide-angle lens, 1080p video, 9.2 megapixels. It has a 60x optical zoom. Notice I said optical, not digital. In my camera review, you guys can go check that out. It explains what the difference between optical and digital zoom is. What's extremely cool about this guy is the fact that it has a built-in USB. So the USB is actually built in. It actually it's a little thing that goes into the handle. You pull it out and it's a little tiny USB cord. You can plug that into your computer or in the box comes an adapter. The adapter is very easy to use. You plug it in and you plug it into your computer. I just like to take out the SD card. I have an adapter from my micro SD card and I plug that into my PC. Windows Movie Maker, it's the standard video and movie editor on Windows PC. My next product, guys, this is not really for the Sony camera in front of me. This is for my iPod. Put your phone or iPod, as I use, in. You. It has a self-sealing component to it. It seals up perfect touch screen, works very responsive, and you've got that seal so it looks the camera looks very nice. Better than a waterproof case because you can go down 65 feet in water. That is very interesting. You guys can go check this out. Link in the description. Awesome. Very cool tool for a phone or something that you want to get nice underwater shots. The last product, guys, is not really something that belongs in my camera kit because I don't really use it anymore. It's the thing that got me started on YouTube. And basically, it got me started into videography. This is a extremely old model of a Sony Handycam. This thing is so heavy, it's great, like, it's like, I'm gonna guess this is at least three pounds, which is extremely heavy for a camera. Most point-and-shoot cameras are less than two pounds, and most DSLRs weigh this much. The funny thing about this is it's so old that it actually shoots on mini VHS. But I wouldn't even record when I played with this guy. I would just look through the eyepiece, and because it has a 120 zoom with an optical super steady shot, I would look like all the way across the neighborhood because it's such a big zoom, but I never recorded anything. But just looking through that and seeing how everything worked interested me. 
But this guy got me started with all of videography, and I'm so excited because now I get to make a YouTube channel for you guys, and you guys get to see how it's evolved. I do want to say some quick notes. I've changed my room that I film in. This is a different room. It has a better setup with the wall, and it has a stronger light, just in-room light, so the contrast of the lighting with my bring-in lighting and the original room lighting looks much better with the white background, not a blue background. The whole blue background and my bad lights looked really bad and it made my videos look really bad. So I'm changing to this. I have a different setup with the stand and I have a little light here that points up at my face to give me more illumination on the chin because that was a big problem. I'd have big shadows. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, leave a comment below, drop a like, and make sure you guys subscribe if you make videos every weekend, two every weekend, and I hope you guys like this. Have a great day, guys. Adios.